said they have lasted me from Amelia being born. Oh my god, there's a hair in my mouth. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another little installment to my series of best baby products. Typically I do them by like age group, so newborn and so on and so on, but this one is actually going to be my holy grail baby products and I know I still have a 9 to 12 month video to put up, but I wanted to go ahead and put this one up first just because it's really close to Christmas and I know some people maybe want some ideas of things to get either their baby or to get people who have babies or are pregnant. So I thought this would be a really nice video to make because the things that I put in this video I chose mainly because not only do I love them, but they have lasted me from the time she was born to now at 13 months old. We still use them very regularly, if not every single day. So that's kind of what I consider like the holy grail baby products, like the things that I use every day or several times a week or whatever, just things that last, you know, not just a couple months like a swing or something like that. Something that, like I said, has lasted me from birth to currently at almost 14 months. So. That's what this video is going to be about, so if you're interested, make sure you stay tuned and we're going to go ahead and jump into this video. Sometime while you're still here, make sure you check out the description box below. I will have everything that I talk about linked down there if I can find it. I will also have my social media, my makeup, my clothes, so like I said, check that out. There will be tons of stuff down there. I also have some coupon codes that will be down there, so like I said, Check that out so you don't miss anything good. I don't have these in any particular order, so it's not like an order of best to bestest, but um, they are just in whatever order I thought of them. I was going through my days and figuring out what it is that, you know, if I had to only get 10 baby products or 10 things, these would be them and just things that make my life a ton easier and I'm sure Amelia's life as well. So let's go ahead and jump in. My first product is a pack and play and obviously some of this stuff I'm not gonna be able to show you. I might insert some clips here and there of some things or some just footage of some of the things that you can see them because Amelia's napping right now. So there are things that are in there with her that she's using that I can't show you right now. But, like I said, a pack and play, it doesn't really matter which one. We got um, the infant napper, I think it was. It came with like a little bassinet type thing with a changing station and then just like the regular pack and play. We put her in the um, like white bassinet part when she was first born and then she ended up moving to the regular pack and play. And like I said, she still sleeps in that. She sleeps 12 hours a night so she doesn't seem to mind it i think she likes it i've put her in cribs and she doesn't like them she doesn't sleep as well in them she bumps her head she loses her stuff because you can't put bumpers in them so pack and plays are a lifesaver so definitely get one of those because you can use them for so much playtime nap time bedtime whatever and they're portable so look into the different pack and plays, see which one would fit you best, and definitely make that investment. The next recommendation I'm going to make is the Kiko Bravo travel system, and I'm sure everybody is going to have like a car seat, but I definitely recommend getting a travel system that's gonna come with the base for the car seat, the stroller, and the carrier. I feel like it makes things so easy to have things that mesh well together, or that go together so I can just click her car seat right out of the base right into the stroller if I want the stroller itself is really nice smooth ride the car seat I love she's 13 months old and has still not outgrown it and she's not small she's in the 93rd percentile for height so she still has more than an inch above her head and she's under the weight and height requirements so I know a lot of people whose babies outgrew their carriers at you know seven eight nine months ten months but like I said almost 14 months old she's still in her carrier it's kind of heavy but it's still way too convenient for me to switch her into anything else so like I said, the one that I have is the Kiko Bravo travel system, but I just recommend getting um, a travel system anyway, like whatever kind would work best for you because we have definitely used it a ton and it was definitely worth the money we spent on it. Okay, so my next Holy Girl Baby product are these Microfire 
um, baby or just bed covers in general. They can be used for baby or anybody really. Um, they are this natural colored cotton. They are super, super soft. The back is waterproof and I love to use these for um, changing Amelia on. They come in two sizes. I have two sizes and the company actually knows how much I love them. So they actually recently sent me some new ones. They actually sent me new, but new ones in both sizes. So I have both of them to show you. This is the medium size. And then I have a giant, I'm not going to be able to get this even close to all the way in frame, but this one is over 47 inches and the other one is about 27 inches. They are super nice to put under the baby when you're changing them. I tried some other like changing pad covers. They were a lot smaller. They slid around when the baby moved at all. It was so hard to keep them in place. And then you had to like hand wash them. So I really didn't even use those. So when I found these, not only are they machine washable, but they're big enough so that they don't slide all over the place. Baby stays just fine. They're nice and soft. And I don't know, I just really like them. I use them for so much. I like to use the big one to lay under her high chair when she's eating, if she has something particularly messy or if we're in the dining room where there's carpet and it catches all of the food that she throws off of her chair. It keeps from, cause she throws her cup as well. So it has food on it from her hands and her tray. It just protects the carpet and the floor and it just makes cleanup so much easier for me. I just use it for maybe one or two meals depending on what all she got on it. I dump it off into the trash and then I just wash it and hang it to dry. It's super easy. I also love to use these for when she feels like eating a snack in the living room and she wants to sit on the couch. I put one of these under her so that she doesn't get stuff on the couch. I like to bring the little one when we are um, like out and about. I keep one in the diaper bag. I like to put it in the cart if it's kind of dirty or if I just want some extra padding. It's good for um, like restaurant high chairs. You can even put the little travel one under the restaurant high chair if you want to catch food there. It's just good for so many things. And like I said, it can be used for baby or adults. So I know elderly people use them on their beds. They're good for kids who are potty training. You can put them on their beds just to make sure that they don't have accidents. The big one is a really good size to put under a crib sheet to use as a mattress protector. Just tons and tons of uses for these things. And they are definitely awesome. I had even used the littler one for burp claws and everything. The big ones I like to lay out on like hardwood if she's playing on the floor and I want something softer. I like to use them for like at bedtime, I like to let her air out without her diaper on. So I'll lay one of these down on the bed and then we'll sit on it while we're reading books just in case she has any accidents because she's had an accident on the bed and I didn't have that down and I won't let that happen again. So I always use one of these. I use them for so much and I'm really glad that they sent me some more because I definitely need extras. They come in packs of two, so you can get two of the big ones in one pack or two of the medium ones in another pack. And if you're interested in these, I actually have a coupon code from them because they were super nice and wanted to give you guys something as well. So I will have it on the screen and then I will also put it down in the description box below along with links to the products and everything. You get them on Amazon. So super easy, you get you know free two day shipping if you're a Prime member. They are extremely useful and I promise whoever you buy them for or even if you buy them for yourself, you won't regret it because they are definitely, definitely a holy grail item of mine. The next Holy Girl Baby product I have is the Dom Sound Machine. I have the white one. I've shown it to you guys before. I've talked about it. I'll make sure I have the videos where I talk about a lot of these other things down below just in case you want to hear me talk more about any of these things or more in depth. I'll have those down there so check those out as well but it's just a white sound machine and it has a fan inside rather than just like a white recorded noise and it's so much nicer. It's soothing. It blocks out tons of noise. I really don't know if she would be able to sleep without it. I love it. I think about getting a second one and putting it in there as well just for like the extra noise 
but it's awesome. It has two settings. It's adjustable as far as like the sound. You can turn it. Just check out the other videos I have talked about it or look it up. There are probably a ton of really great reviews. It's an awesome sound machine. So definitely check that out because it is a holy grail of mine for sure. The next holy grail item I have is actually Amelia's um, amber teething necklace and obviously I can't show it to you right now because she's wearing it and she's napping, but I have been putting that on her or I've had it on her since she was about two months old, so she doesn't bother it. She knows it's there. Like if I ask her like if there's a book with a picture of a necklace, I say, oh, that's a necklace. Where's your necklace? She'll grab her necklace. So she knows it's there, but she doesn't bother it. And I really think that it helps. Like she has... 11 teeth right now at almost 14 months. She is cutting two molars right now. Well, no, she's cutting three molars right now that I know of and she's, you know, she's taking a over two hour nap right now. She sleeps 12 hours at night. She's not super fussy like ever. She drools a little but not a ton and I really contribute like the ease of her teething process to the teething necklace and I don't know if it's in my head but I've only taken it off of her a couple times and I feel like she like I forgot to put it back on her and I felt like she was fussier and I was like what is wrong with her like what is, like why is she so fussy and then I realized oh her teething necklace isn't on so I put it back and she's kind of back to normal after like a day or so might just be like a coincidence but I love it. So you can get them all over the place. Just make sure you like verify that they are um, for real. They are real amber beads. So I know there are a lot of fakes out there. So just make sure you look into what you're buying. But definitely they're, they make really good gifts. They have them on Etsy that are really pretty. Amazon, like I said, really good gifts for you know either your baby or somebody else with a baby definitely a holy grail of mine. I don't know if it's all in my head, but I'll take that regardless. Like I said, need one. It's a must have. Okay, so my next holy grail product is the Nose Frida, and I'm sure that you've seen this before. If you haven't, here it is. It's not very glamorous, kind of gross, but you put this end in your mouth and this end in baby's nose, and it is literally a lifesaver if your baby has a stuffy nose. I really don't know what I would do without it because it helps her breathe so much. I feel like when she has a stuffy nose, which has only happened like one time, but maybe two, I think it was like two, but she could not breathe. She was, it was hard for her to sleep. It's really hard to like listen to them try to breathe like that. And this thing just is amazing. It takes just about everything out of it. It comes with a little bottle of saline spray. I don't know if it's gonna pick it up quite well, but it's just some saline spray and it comes with extra filters. It is, um, it does have a filter in it, so you're not gonna like get anything in your mouth. It sounds kind of gross, but I really don't know what I would do without this thing. It's so nice to have and definitely, definitely a holy grail item. Okay, so my next Holy Girl baby product I've talked to you guys about, I feel like a ton, but they're just baby nail scissors instead of using clippers. I'll have the one that I really like linked down below, but just in general, I so prefer nail scissors over the clippers, and I know a ton of other people do as well. It's so hard to see where you're, clip like where you're clipping with the clippers. And with the scissors, it's just a lot easier to see. You have a lot more control over how much nail you're taking off. And I just really, really prefer them. And I'm so glad I have them because I feel like with the rate that Amelia's nails grow, if I had to clip them every time, I don't know. I'm just really glad I don't. So make sure you check out some baby nail scissors. Just find some that you like. It's, you know, they're pretty similar, but like I said, I'll have the ones I like and I have linked down there. Definitely get one of those definitely a holy grail of mine. Okay, so my next holy grail baby product is um, this summer infant care baby monitor. This one is actually just um, like my, my side of it. The camera is obviously in Amelia's room because she's napping right now, but it is awesome. It has this nice big screen on it, has really good day um, like day color, like daytime coloring. It has really good night vision. The battery, I think I've said before that the battery is not the best, but I've come to learn that 
as long as like if I leave it on the charger while she's not sleeping it typically lasts me like through her whole nap it won't last like all night or anything but it's not bad as long as you make sure it has a full charge and the camera itself I wish swiveled or I could control it from here that's the only thing that I wish it has that it doesn't you can talk to them through it you can zoom in and zoom out you can turn the volume up and down and I don't know it's just a really nice monitor it was actually a gift from my brother and I'm so so glad this is the one that we got because I love it and I know that you can get um, like a second camera so if you have two kids you can switch back and forth definitely a must-have puts me at ease I can check on her whenever I want to so I definitely recommend getting a monitor so you can hear and see your baby. I feel like I'll be using this thing till she's like 10. My next holy grail item I know I've talked to you guys a ton about, but it is the Honest Company Healing Balm. It just looks like this. It's like a balm, so it's just like a yellowy, oily feeling type of substance. It's so good for anything, diaper rash, chapped lips, dry skin, scrapes, I use it for ton a ton of stuff so definitely check this out you don't have to be like subscribed to the honest company or get a bundle to get this you can buy it I'm pretty sure you can get it on like anywhere like Amazon or anything although you guys know that I love the honest company and I do think you should check them out as well not sponsored but they are really good it's really nice having your diapers delivered to you they're cute and I don't know it's just nice knowing that they're honest you know but if you have to try one thing, try the Healing Balm. It's so, so good and I don't know. I have been through so many tubes, so it's definitely a holy grail of mine. My next holy grail baby product would be this um, thermometer. So you just kind of point it at their head and it takes their temperature. So mine is currently 97.5, but it's just really nice because Rectal thermometers, they're not comfortable for really anybody, but it's kind of like a whole ordeal if you have to use one. With this, if she's teething or something, or if she gets her shots, I can just use this to quickly check her temperature pretty much whenever I want. If she's sleeping, if she's, you know, just running around the house, I can be like, hey, hold on real quick. I don't have to, you know, give her a rectal thermometer. So they are, um, they're not as accurate as the rectal thermometers, but they are within point like tenth of a degree. So definitely worth it. It's definitely good for peace of mind. I travel with this thing just because I, I don't know, I just like to have it just in case I notice something weird about her or if she gets shots or anything like that. Definitely really nice to have. I'll have it, like I said, linked down below. Make sure you check one of these out because I think they are definitely worth it when it comes to baby thermometers and it's something that you can use you know on anybody really so definitely a good investment definitely a holy grail especially for those really young years and then I've already done my 10 products like I said but I kind of felt like I couldn't make a holy grail video without mentioning um, muslin blankets these ones are the ones I have they are by little unicorn this is just two from one of the sets that I have, this one has like blueberries on it and this one has like strawberries, but I use these for a ton. I swaddled her in them when she was little. They get softer every time you wash them. You can lay them out to change them on them. They're just really nice. They're nice light blankets. I keep one rolled up at the bottom of the diaper bag just in case I need a burp cloth or a rag or really anything, I don't know. Like I said, I didn't think I could make a holy grail video without mentioning some swaddle blankets because I think that everybody should have some of these. Okay, those were my 10, kind of 11 holy grail baby products. Things that have lasted me from birth, well not me, but Amelia's birth to now her at 14 months. These are things that we still use on a weekly, if not daily basis. So if, like I said, if I had to pick just 10 or 11 baby products, these would be it. So definitely check out all of the stuff I have down there and make sure you check out those microfire bed mats because they are so multi-purpose. They are so good quality. I love the, like, the texture of them. They're just so, so soft. I love that they're natural. I love that I can machine wash them. 
And like I said, there's gonna be a coupon code down below for you to use on Amazon. So make sure you check those out. Get them for somebody for Christmas. Get them for yourself. You know, get them for your grandma or your grandpa. They're really nice. So make sure you check them out. They were nice enough to send me the extras so that I had more and give you guys the coupon code. So go give them some love and check those mats out. Okay, I hope this video gave you ideas if you're looking for ideas for Christmas presents or baby shower gifts or whatever you're watching for. I hope that you found what you were looking for. Thank you so much for watching and like I said, make sure you check out the description for all of that good stuff down there. And please subscribe to my channel because I upload videos every single week and I would love to have you join me. And if you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know. And Leave me a comment down below with your number one holy grail baby product because I would love to know if something that you think is a holy grail that isn't on my list. So let me know in a comment down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.